What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about the deadlift, okay? And specifically we're going to be talking about hip positioning at the start of a deadlift. So, um, this is something that I see a lot of people do wrong in the gym. Uh, go ahead and get on the side row. We know that we don't want to deadlift with a rounded back, right? But a lot of people are going to be trying to overcompensate this and they're going to be hyperextending their spine and putting themselves in anterior pelvic tilt. So, what this looks like is uh, like this. So, get more on the side row. So a lot of people think that the way to correct a rounded back is to arch your back, right? And they'll think of arching their back like this. And notice that their back is arched and they're in anterior pelvic tilt. And they'll pull like that, right? So we know we don't want a rounded back. But arching and overarching like that isn't the way to fix it. So when you're arching like that, guys, what you're actually doing is putting yourself in anterior pelvic tilt. And you're actually disengaging your core, right? So you actually want your entire core braced, front, side, back, all of it. So if you're just overarching to try to have your back muscles take the strain, then you're going to be shutting off the core muscles right here. And you actually want your entire core stabilized to prevent rounding, right? Also, when you're in this position and you're in anterior pelvic tilt, you're lengthening the moment arm between the center of rotation, which is your hips, and the bar, okay? So you're here. If you notice, if you put yourself in anterior pelvic tilt, this moment arm right here between your hips and the bar gets longer. Versus if your pelvis is neutral. is that if you're in anterior pelvic tilt, you're actually shutting off your glutes. You're shutting off your hip extensors because you're putting them in stretch position, right? So, what you want to do is actually have a neutral pelvis. So from the start here, instead of being anterior pelvic tilt like this, neutral pelvis, okay? And this already preloads your glutes. So this way your hip extensors, your hamstrings are already loaded here versus being disengaged right here, right? And this makes lockout a lot easier and actually allows your glutes and your hip extensors to support your core as well. So this way your back isn't doing all the work. This, by loading your hip extensors, you're actually allowing your hip extensors to take a lot of the load so that your back isn't susceptible to rounding as well. So guys, just to reiterate things, neutral core, right? Make sure you're turning on your core, turning on your abs and your obliques and everything. Whole core is stabilized, okay? Don't over arch, guys. Don't over arch. Don't lengthen this moment arm. You're just gonna make the movement harder. You're gonna turn off your hip extensors and you're just gonna make your spine more susceptible to rounding actually under heavy load, okay? So get that core stabilized, guys. Load the hip extensors, load those glutes. Put yourself out of anterior pelvic tilt. You don't wanna be sticking your ass out like this. This is like not how you deadlift, okay? So brace your core, brace your glutes, brace your hamstrings. Load this whole chain, right? From here, you're loaded. Neutral pelvis, okay? Not this, neutral. And notice how much closer my hips get to the bar. This, this makes the torque arm between the center of rotation, which is the hips, and the bar a lot shorter. Which of course makes it a lot easier. Longer torque arm, more torque acting on you, more torque that you have to overcome, right? So you want that torque arm as short as you can. Here. Brace. Neutral pelvis. No anterior pelvis. Also guys, if you're in a position of anterior pelvic tilt, Locking out is going to be really hard because, because you're going to be coming from anterior pelvic tilt, trying to get to neutral and posterior, right? If you're starting neutral, hip extensors are already on, pull, can lock right out. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys learned something. And if you guys did, if you found it useful and stuff, leave a comment, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and all that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.